what's up with it y'all it's jd travel cynics and i'm back with another quick video in today's video i wanted to chop it up about frauds perpetrators uh scammers whatever you might want to call them but in 2020 they're all over the place especially on youtube but before we get into the video uh, if you're new to the channel you're interested and travel, fitness, overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. All right, so you guys might be asking yourself, why am I making a video on frauds? And why, do I, why am I making a video on perpetrators, scammers, all that type of stuff? And the reason why is, is because, man, I've been watching a lot of YouTube content lately, and people just like to talk about things that they have no type of knowledge about, no type of expertise about and they just want to talk about it just because it's a trendy subject and me personally i try my hardest not to comment on anything that i'm not educated about or things that i just don't have any experience about in general and i damn sure i'm not going to try to charge you any money or try to scam you out of any money selling you some false information or selling you some information that's not going to do you any good Hold on. But I've been seeing a bunch of people who've been uh, making all types of content. Some people make health and, health and wellness content and they know nothing about health and wellness. Some people make content talking about financial advice or claiming to be a financial advisor or claiming to, you know, having these keys and these strategies to help get you rich quick and honestly there's just no way that you're going to get rich quick i mean yeah you can get lucky maybe and hit the lottery or something like that or maybe you can just by chance invest in some type of stock that ends up blowing up overnight but for the most part you're not going to get rich quick so but that's that's just a couple examples and then another example would be um, people who like to comment on maybe some I see a lot of people who are like dating coaches or people who claim to be life coaches or people who claim to be whatever, all these different things. And first off, when it comes down to dating, every single person is gonna have a different strategy. Every single person has a different experience. So who am I to tell you how to run game on a female uh, or how to approach a female or anything like that when me and you are two completely different people. But that's just, man, that's just, those are just a few aspects of what I've been seeing on this video in the first place was my homeboy Gia hit me up yesterday and he was telling me about a cat that we used to work with and uh, he was telling me that the dude was a financial advisor and I'm thinking to myself did this man go and get some type of degree or did he get some type of certification or some type of credit credentials to make him qualified to be a financial advisor because from what I remember to do he didn't have no education and he was a dude who was going around buying all types of flashy shit now with all that being said he might have changed his ways and might have you know smartened up in terms of you know i haven't worked or seen the dude in years but at the same time just because i haven't seen him in years and just because i haven't worked with him in years don't mean i haven't like heard little things here and there about the dude just because i know we got we got a bunch of mutual friends and when i met the dude he was like trying to be on some pretty boy shit and then next thing you know he was uh he was trying to be on some thugged out shit and then the next thing you know he was trying to be on some super religious shit and you know what i mean basically what i'm saying is that he was just changing his tune all the time now all of a sudden he's a financial guru and my whole thing with that is just people are just trying to do anything that they can do to make themselves seem like they didn't put the work in 
when they actually haven't even put the work in. You haven't put no, no work in in terms of actually if you really wanted to be a financial advisor which i don't even really think like what the fuck is the point of a financial advisor anyways you know what i mean like why would somebody else need to handle your money or why would somebody else need to tell you how to spend your money yeah you can learn some things here and there but you could do that shit you could just go on fucking youtube university or take some classes about budgeting or some shit you could figure out how to budget your money how to invest your money without having to pay somebody to actually do this shit for you but that's not even the main point of the thing. The main point of the thing is, is, number one, every time I hear the word financial advisor, I'm always thinking scam artists. You know what I mean? Why are you gonna pay somebody to tell you how to handle their money? And then on top of that, why would you pay somebody that might not even have their money or their budget or their finances in order? You know what I mean? My whole thing is like, if you a financial advisor, what do you own? You know what I mean? Like, what is your track record? It's just like, for instance, for me trying to sell my fitness services and my personal training services and then i'm out here looking like a slob or out here looking like a fat ass or you see every every video you see me drinking or every video you see me eating some unhealthy bullshit or you see me doing some half-assed little workouts in my videos that doesn't make any sense nobody should trust me as somebody to go to for information on fitness when i don't have a track record when i don't have any anything to show i don't have any proof to show anybody that my method works. A lot of people aren't sharing anything. All they're doing is talking a good game, and a lot of times they're leading with a lot of material trinkets. And that's a huge problem, especially when you're dealing with people who are maybe in a lower economic class. Because people who are in a lower economic class see a Lamborghini, or they don't even need to see a Lamborghini. All they need to see is a Benz, or see some Louis Vuitton, or see a gold chain or something like that, and they're automatically thinking this person got money when real people who have real wealth don't wear their wealth you know what i mean real people who have real money ain't trying to floss their money all the time because they already know they got money broke motherfuckers floss their money you know what i mean broke motherfuckers try to wear their wealth to try to reel you in so they can run some type of con game on you and that's what's going on in terms of youtube that's what's going on in terms of real life people was getting con games run on them all the time when it whether it's a pyramid scheme or trying to get you to buy some type of program to cheat you how to be more masculine. Like what the fuck type of shit is that? For somebody to try to sell you a program on how to be more masculine. That's some bullshit in itself. Also, people out here trying to sell programs on how to get women, all these different types of things. Man, when it comes down to getting women, it's simple. All you got to do is be yourself. I mean, this is my personal uh, personal philosophy. Be yourself. Try to be the best version of yourself. Maintain as much integrity as possible. And the right people in general are going to come into your life. That includes friendships. That includes business opportunities. That includes women. You know what I mean? But spending money and going out here tripping off how to get women so much, that's a waste of your time because you should be focused on bigger and better things other than chasing tail all the time, other than chasing down some pussy. It's not that serious, you know what I mean? And at the same time, you don't even really need to do all types of crazy shit to get women anyway. Shit, I got way more women when I was out of shape, drinking and doing all, all types of bullshit when I was broke as a motherfucker. I used to, when I was broke and out of shape, I got way more, well, I was tripping off of women way more than I'm tripping off of them now, but I was getting way more women than I'm, uh, than I'm, you know, than when I actually got into shape because once I got into shape and felt more comfortable with myself, I wasn't tripping on getting females all the time. You know what I mean? I started focusing on my vision and my program and my purpose more, you know what I mean? To the point where I wasn't tripping off of getting pussy all the time to make myself feel better about myself. But yeah, another thing that actually made me thinking about making this video was that I was checking out YouTube and it's a fitness YouTuber that I used to watch a lot because he's a calisthenics dude and I used to like to watch his uh, calisthenics videos because I, I can't hate on him, man. He's hella good at calisthenics and he'd be doing his thing with the fitness. But then he started making videos talking about uh, dating and women and all this other type of shit and the dude don't know shit. You know what I mean? Like he don't have no type of game. 
You know what I mean? He is super square. And then he now he running around trying to act like he got game and and he can teach people on how to get women. Oh, it's like, dude, you the type of dude, he the type of dude who didn't get women until he got a little bit of clout and a little bit of notoriety. It's like, dude, you shouldn't have to get clout and notoriety be, to be able to pull women. You know what I mean? To be able to pull females. It really, it doesn't take all of that. And a lot, and the problem is, is that, and then another thing that this dude did is he made a video talking about five signs that, that you're a simp or something like that. And then he had the nerve to talk about, he, uh, what was he talking about? He was talking about five signs that you're a simp. And then he said that he just learned what the word simp had meant like a year ago or something like that. And it's like, dude, how are you going to be telling, some, trying to teach somebody about what a simp is or that if they if they simping or being a simp or something like that when you don't even really know what the word means in general because you don't know nothing about the game you know what i mean and the fact of the matter is i have watched a few of this dude's videos this is just strictly for entertainment and a dude was making a video talking about how he gets professional photographs or, or he has a professional photographer come take photographs of him for his tinder profile pics how pathetic is that that's pathetic as fuck you know what i mean you take it you spending money that's the definition of a simp you putting pussy on a pedestal so much that you willing to pay just to have the opportunity to get some pussy you willing to pay good money i, I know pro professional photography ain't cheap you're willing to have people come take professional photographs of you just so you can have some better pictures on your tinder profile i mean that's just sad you know what i mean and it's sad that that somebody with such a big platform is out here teaching young men to pay to have professional photographs taken for their tinder profile because tinder's some bullshit anyway you ain't even gonna meet no quality women on tinder i mean it's possible you might be able to meet some some decent looking woman i mean you might be able to meet some decent looking women on tinder but for the most part women 95 percent of the women on tinder are garbage 95% of the people on Tinder, probably 98% of the people on Tinder are garbage, but 95% of women on Tinder are garbage. You know what I mean? And that just goes down to the to the fact that you are putting women so high on a pedestal that you're willing to go out of your way to do all these different things to get women. But I know this is kind of rambling on about this dude, but it's just the fact of the matter is that when it comes down to having any type of game or when it comes down to trying to teach people about a game, this dude don't have no real game to spit. So how is he gonna teach you about something that he doesn't even know about? At the end of the day, this dude is driving a, a fancy sports car, an expensive ass sports car, probably making close to, probably making in the mid six figures, and the dude's in great shape. So obviously if you have those three things, it's not gonna be hard to peel women. And honestly, he be having some little broads on his channel. And honestly, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, they just some average looking little broads. It ain't like he's running around with some type of super dime pieces, you know what I mean? But you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I can't hate on that. You know what I mean? Everybody has their own taste when it comes to women. But uh yeah, it's just basically my whole thing with 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 that type of shit is that people is teaching you a bunch of bullshit. And like, why would you learn game and why would you learn like anything that has to do with anything from somebody who's who, who doesn't know what they're talking about like this dude don't have no real track record on in terms of that like he is square just like the the cat that my homeboy was telling me about it is talking about he's a financial advisor and this dude probably i don't even know if he has a high school diploma that's how serious it is i literally don't even know if this dude has a high school diploma he might not have a high school diploma i know 
damn sure he ain't got no bachelor's degree. And I wouldn't take any financial advice from anybody who does not have a bachelor's degree. No disrespect to anybody out there who's, uh, well, you know, actually I can't say that. But like I said, you would have to have a track record and have some type of qualifications. But the bachelor's degree is at least just saying that, you know what I mean? I've actually gotten involved in something and I've stuck with it uh, long enough to actually get a, a some type of a certific certification or some type of a diploma. So I highly recommend if you do decide to start something in life, finish it. You know what I mean? Just to say that you weren't a quitter and you didn't give up on it. And it's nothing wrong with getting a bachelor's degree. Personally, like I said, I didn't necessarily really need it, but you know, it's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't hurt. long story short be careful of who you take advice from be careful of what type of content you're consuming in general because a lot of these people's content on YouTube or on Instagram it's all bullshit you know what I mean especially that Instagram content because people just post a lot of flashy things they post a lot of highlights but in all reality they might not really be who you think they are they might be a scam artist or they might be running around talking about they got this fat ass crib, but it's just a crib that they rented on Airbnb. Or they might have a, a, a fancy ass car, but it's just a car that they rented from, you know, some exotic car rental spot or something like that. You know what I mean? So this is all fake. It's not real life. You know what I mean? It's just entertainment. Even my channel to a certain extent is entertaining because you don't have to apply everything that I say into your life. Yeah, I'm actually trying to give people advice about things that I've actually experienced in my life and give people advice on things that I know about like fitness, health, travel. And you know, I can talk about fitness because it's something that I've been doing pretty much my entire life. I've been an athlete since I was a kid. Got a scholarship to play college basketball. Uh, have always done different types of training coming up. Now there was a period of time where I let myself get out of hand, out of, out of shape and I was smoking weed every day and drinking every day. So, I mean, at that time, you wouldn't have wanted to take any advice from me on fitness. But since then, I've turned around and got very serious about fitness. And about the game and life advice that I, I like to give on my channel, I'm not finna charge nobody for that. That's free game, you know what I mean? I would never charge anybody for any life advice. Now you could take the free game that I'm giving you on my YouTube platform and apply it in your life. Now if you hit me up on a private chat, ask me a couple questions, I might My bad y'all, the camera overheated. But like I said, man, I'm 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 giving giving out free game on my channel. You know what I mean? You could take it or leave it. You can agree with me or not agree with me. Everybody has a different perspective and everybody has a different reality. But one thing I'm not going to do, I guarantee you I'm not going to do is try to sell you some type of course on any of the shit that I'm talking about other than fitness because you know everybody has a product to push and you know there's no real like barometer of whether somebody when somebody spits some game at you and you take their life advice of whether it worked or not but there is definitely a barometer and you can see tangible results on whether if somebody gives you some fitness information and it worked or not. Or you can see if somebody actually applies some fitness information and some health information in their life and it works or not. So it's definitely something to watch out for. Be careful for all these scammers and shit like that. But I think I was getting, the point I was making before was about travel and the fact that I talk about travel on my channel. I talk about different cultures and you know different experiences i've had going all over the world because i've traveled to you know about 30 countries in my life and i've actually lived in another country for like three years so i've experienced living in a different culture and i've also experienced just traveling and experienced cultures on a short-term basis too but I, I see a lot of people talking about travel and shit like that and all these different things about travel and culture and these dudes literally might have went to like two or three different spots and they might be in the caribbean or maybe just the same typical spots a lot of youtube cats travel dominican republic um mexico colombia and that's no disrespect to anybody that goes to those spots 
But if those are the only spots that you've been, you're just a beginner on the travel shit. You know what I mean? You gotta hit a bunch of different continents, experience a bunch of different cultures. You know what I mean? Asia, Latin America, Africa, Europe, all that type of shit. You wanna go experience all, all over the world, all these different types of cultures. Don't let a beginner, a novice, or somebody who doesn't really know what they're talking about, who's not certified or bona fide in whatever field they want to talk about, don't let them try to tell you the playbook on how you need to do things. And damn sure don't pay for them to game you up on anything because they barely have a fraction of the game themselves. And for me personally, I'm not even finna bring nobody on my platform I know people was a couple people who's uh, subscribed to my channel have hit me up on my DMs on Instagram and was like, hey, look, you should collaborate with some other YouTubers. And look, I don't really, there's not really any YouTubers who I want to collaborate with because most YouTubers are full of shit. There's probably like three YouTubers who I could really look at their content and be like, okay, I fuck with their they content. And, uh, and at the same time, it's like, I really don't even really want to reach out to them because I respect what they're doing, but I just respect what they're doing from afar. I got a couple of friends on a personal basis who have YouTube channels and I collaborate with them. You know what I mean? I collaborate with the people that I actually know in my personal life. And if I meet some people by chance that happen to be YouTubers when I'm out traveling or if I'm out doing some uh, working out or something like that, yeah, I'm down to collaborate with some people on that, type, on that tip. And one of the main reasons why is because I can authenticate the people, you know what I mean? Like, I know my homeboy Dudley, he does, he's been in the crypto game for like three years strong. And as far as somebody who does research, I don't even know people in general on any topic who do research like this man does research on crypto. He's obsessed with it, you know what I mean? So I know for a fact, when I need some information on cryptocurrency, I can go to the crypto free press. I can go to the crypto free press because I know Dudley in real life be on crypto non-stop he be hitting me up sending me i remember it was one point where he was so into cryptocurrency he was sending me news articles non-stop about cryptocurrency and and you know i would try to read some of them but i just am constant i'm just honestly not into the shit like that so you know although i do invest in crypto and i like to stay informed i'm not that informed but i know he's super passionate about it so i know whenever i need to reach out to somebody to get some information that's who I go to. And what did I do? I brought him on my channel and I brought him on my platform because I know that he's the real deal. You know what I mean? I wouldn't bring anybody on my platform who's on some fraud shit, who just got involved in cryptocurrency six months ago and then wants to run around and try to give people advice or try to tell people about investing in some shit that they barely know about. You know what I mean? So that's basically the, the gist of what I'm trying to say in this video. And I know I rambled on a long time about it, but this is something I actually feel really strongly about. It's just perpetrators, you know what I mean? We live in a world full of perpetrators and we are living in a world full of people who's on that microwave mentality, you know what I mean? Who want success overnight. And that's really what scammers and con artists are all about is that they want to get rich quick and they don't give a fuck whose money they gotta take. And that's another thing about uh, the cat who's a financial advisor. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, this dude damn sure ain't got no high-end clients. He ain't got no people who's making six figures. You, you scraping the bottom of the barrel, taking the few little pennies that broke motherfuckers have, talking about you gonna help them manage their money and all that type of shit. It's like, dude, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know what I mean? Taking advantage of the poor people like that. You know what I mean? Taking advantage of the weak. You taking advantage of people who's in financial distress, taking their last little bit of money, selling them some pipe dreams. That's the same thing with all these people who's uh who do these uh pyramid schemes, herbal life. You know what I mean? Uh, what was the name of that shit that was out when I was younger? Uh, prepaid legal, Amway, all these different types of things. They don't go to rich neighborhoods trying to sell their little pyramid schemes and their multi-level marketing bullshit because 
people in a rich neighborhood ain't really tripping off of fucking making quick money like that. They already got their source of income. They already got their careers. They go to the poor neighborhoods. They go to the minority neighborhoods. If you want to use that term, they go to the ethnic neighborhoods and uh, they go to the, the poor neighborhoods. They go to the low class neighborhoods. They go to the ethnic neighborhoods where they know people are hard up for money and they know they can sell you on some bullshit by showing you a couple fancy objects and uh, promising that you're gonna get rich one day, overnight, without having to put no real work in. Now, I got news for you. You're not gonna get in shape without putting in work. You damn sure not gonna get rich without putting in work. You're not gonna get nothing out of life without putting in work. And life is all about the journey. It's all about the process. It's not about the end result. So if you're constantly working, worried about the end result, you're constantly worried about getting badass chicks, you're constantly worried about getting rich, you're constantly worried about getting a six pack all for a bunch of superficial reasons, guess what? It's not happening. You're not gonna get it. So focus on the journey, enjoy the journey. I know I rambled on. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.